Bitcoin continues to break down and whale transactions are dropping, but analysts believe an alt season is coming sooner than you may think. This is your Alt Combo's news. Hey what's up everyone, my name is Cody and if you're new here make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't drop latest content. Follow us on Twitter, allcombos.io, and as always, not financial advice, and wish the best of luck in your crypto ventures. Today's YouTube news is sponsored by Sui. You may not have noticed lately, but Sui is fast becoming a home for some terrific airdrops. Deep Book, Sui's premier gateway for liquidity, has already had one airdrop, and a second one is coming soon. Other Sui ecosystem projects are airdropping soon as well. And the easiest way to get them is buying Sui and holding in the Sui wallet. There's a new mobile version available, so try the Sui wallet out today with the link down below. The crypto market has been facing major downside volatility the last few days, and there's a lot of confusion in the market with such big liquidations happening in 24 hours. But what's ahead for Bitcoin this week, and how can you prepare for it? Bitcoin kicks off the last week of June, heading for a range low retest as Bitcoin price action nears $60,000. Dropping another 1.5% since the June 24th daily close, Bitcoin continues to test bulls' nerves with a trip ever deeper into core resistance. Whether this holds or not is now the key question for the coming days, with the monthly close looming. To get this far, Bitcoin has already given up multiple moving averages and plugged short-term holders into the red by moving below the aggregated cost basis. Demand is thus seeing something of a temporary setback, and the focus is on whales in particular amid the lowest prices in over a month. Bitcoin whales slowed their transaction activity in the past two days, just before Bitcoin's price slipped below $63,000. On June 23rd, the total number of Bitcoin oil transactions those exceeding $100,000 was 9,923 over the previous two days, a 42% decrease from the 17,091 transactions recorded the two days prior, according to data from Santiment. Meanwhile, whale traders betting on the future price of Bitcoin have also taken a step back, according to CryptoQuant CEO Kai Young Ju. He says whale traders on exchanges are in risk off mode. The Crypto Fear and Greed Index, which measures crypto market sentiment, dropped to a neutral score 51 the lowest has been in 51 days since Bitcoin fell below the critical $60,000 level to $59,122. Even when Bitcoin was still around $65,000, research from Santiment noted what it called rare fear-mongering among Bitcoin market participants. The crowd is mainly fearful or disinterested toward Bitcoin as prices range between $65,000 to $66,000. This extended level of FUD is rare as traders continue to capitulate. Bitcoin trader fatigue combined with whale accumulation generally leads to balances that reward the patient. But it's not all bad news, as billions will be coming to the space over the next year. Nomura and its digital asset subsidiary Laser Digital found that over half of the Japanese investment managers they spoke to plan to invest in digital assets in the next three years following a survey of institutional investors. The survey showed that 54% of respondents intended to invest in crypto in the next three years, and 25% of firms said they had a positive impression of digital assets. Crypto was viewed as a diversification opportunity by 62% of those surveyed, together with cash, stocks, bonds, and commodities. The preferred allocation to digital assets was between 2-5% to of assets under management, and nearly 80% said they would invest over a year. We've also just posted two great new videos on our other channel, Fungible Games, talking about Alluvium in an exclusive interview with the Metalcore CTO, so make sure to check those videos out, link below. As we enter the final week of June, the altcoin market remains weak. Over the last weekend, the market shed more than $25 billion worth, with Ethereum and other top 10 altcoins dropping between 3-10%. to However, analysts believe this could be the last correction before new capital begins flowing back into the altcoin market. Crypto analyst Michael Vanapont predicts the end of the crypto downtrend for altcoins. In his recent tweet, Pop stated, The final downtrend weeks for altcoins are ending, perhaps from next week or the week after. The big capital rotation should start. Expressing confidence in his current position on altcoins, Pop expects the risk-on period to begin soon in the near future. Furthermore, Pop added that the altcoin market is terrible currently since the Bitcoin valuation of several altcoins reached new lows. However, he states the last time this happened, some of the altcoins rallied as high as 300-500%. to He further shared an optimistic outlook for altcoins going ahead, and he noted that the altcoin market cap is still down by 50% since its all-time high back in 2021, with the recent correction pushing it down further by 30%. With the correction nearing its end, Pop expects a potential 100% rally in altcoins that could align with Bitcoin's trajectory. Last week was the second worst weekly drop in the crypto market so far for 2024. This has been clearly due to the falling demand for Bitcoin ETFs and the uncertain monetary policy. Two new projects are launching huge opportunities to get in early. First is Landrocker, a new gaming project we're interested in, which recently had its official token launch. Their token, LRT, 
launched on Mexi and Uniswap and was a huge success. The LRT token even surged 10x in the first 24 hours after its launch. Land Rocker is a new play to earn game with more attention to gaming quality than the average play to earn game. They focus on tackling both inflation and trust. Interestingly, there was a lot of player engagement during the game launch, and their web based beta has onboarded over 75,000 unique active wallets. Land Rocker launches game two days after launching the LRT token, and there were about 1,500 concurrent users within the first few hours of the launch. The LRT token is a utility token. Players can use it to make purchases on the gaming marketplace. And they just shared on X, huge news. LRT's next big listing in less than two weeks. After our first successful listing and impressive price rise, LRT's next listing is coming in less than two weeks. This is your chance to be a part of something exciting. Secure your spot today. The second early opportunity is regarding the X-Ray's wallet. After two years of hard work, rigorous security audits, and the successful launch of the X-Ray's mobile wallet app on the ZK Era mainnet, they've announced their upcoming Raise token IDO. X-Ray's is a smart contract wallet and a suite of plug-in game SDKs designed for dApps and games. Powered by ZK Sync, it leverages ZK Sync's native account abstraction features such as transaction batching, session keys, paymasters, social recovery, subscriptions, and more to elevate the user experience. Additionally, the integration of the X-Ray's wallet with Passkey ensures passwordless and secure authentication, providing an even smoother user experience. The IDO will be from June 26 at 2 p.m. UTC to June 29 at 2 p.m. UTC. The token will start at one half cents on the ZK Sync Air Network and is a first come first serve sale, which will all be unlocked at TGE, so no vesting. And then the token liquidity pool will go live on SyncSwap starting July 1st, 2024. So check out Land Rocker's LRT token and the X-Ray's IDO with the links down below. Is it Solana Summer? Well, this one huge firm says Solana is the Mac OS of blockchains, and Solana is reaching an all-time high for this metric. There's a lot in store for Solana, but this one thing could change the course for Solana if it's true. First off, Layer 1 blockchain Solana has activated ZK compression technology in its mainnet, and this development is expected to change the way Solana adapts scale and reduce computational prices dramatically. Mert Mumtaz, co-founder and CEO of Helios, a Solana infrastructure application, expects the advancement to bring 10,000x scale improvements to Solana's Layer 1 design. In terms of cost efficiency, ZK compression results in over 5,200x cheaper transactions, as revealed in calculations by Mumtaz. At the same time, monthly active addresses on Solana surpassed 30 million, a new all-time high. And also Pantera Capital, a blockchain and crypto-focused firm with over $4.7 billion in assets under management, has called Solana the Mac OS of blockchains due to the architectural benefits and the growing adoption the chain has experienced during this cycle. In its latest blockchain letter, Pantera states that the growth of Solana over Ethereum is similar to what the PC market experienced when Apple rose with its vertically integrated stack to rival Microsoft's supremacy in this space. The firm stresses that the optimization of each of the elements of Solana is part of the roadmap of its development team, similar to the behavior of Apple with its software and hardware stack on top of Mac OS. They also noted that Solana's traits have allowed for building applications that would struggle to be deployed in other chains like Ethereum, for example, Pantera Sites Drip, which takes advantage of the low fees and non-fungible tokens. Also, it highlights the ability of Solana to host content distribution, deep in networks, in clubs, or central limit order books due to its low fees and low latency transactions. However, recently there are some rumors that could be bad for Solana. Crypto BitLord shared on X, we're hearing rumors that Sol is under investigation and a huge case is about to become public. This has been brewing for weeks now and couldn't come at a worse time. If what we're hearing is true, start praying for Solana. However, nothing has come out yet so far, so this doesn't mean it's true, but it would be unfortunate if it was.